morning and, and welcome to all of you. And let's begin on this uh, beautiful Friday, this beautiful Friday morning, as always, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we prepare to celebrate and to enter into the sacred and profound mysteries, let's pause for a moment and call to mind all of our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy, his healing, and his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. You came to call all of us sinners. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you plead for each one of us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on each one of us. Forgive us all of our sins. Bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. Stir up your power, we pray, O Lord, and come that with you to protect us, we may find rescue from the pressing dangers of our sins. And with you to set us free, we may be wor found worthy of salvation who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, But a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off, those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnares his defender at the gate and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham, now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in the midst, they shall keep my name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my 
I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? They said, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were open. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread the word of him throughout all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. It's ironic, the last, uh, the last uh, line of uh, the scripture because uh, Jesus warns them sternly not to tell anyone, but then they go out and they proclaim it throughout the whole land. But today we have a different story. Uh, Cardinal O'Malley of Boston always used to say that most Catholics today act as if they're in the witness protection program. But we're all called, not just the priests, we're all called to proclaim the gospel in our own way. And we don't have to hit people over the head with it, but we can uh, can proclaim the gospel by our lives. We can speak to them in the margins because maybe they don't have your faith. Maybe we can give them gifts, novena cards, or uh, we can say, you know, I heard this priest, he was going on and on, but He said, if we just say three Hail Marys, the Redemptorists, the practice of three Hail Marys, that Mary never forgets her children. Or we can tell them about the ancient Aramaic prayer, Mara Natha, Mara Natha. It's one of the oldest prayers in all of Christianity. It means, come, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Maybe they can just say that as they're falling asleep at night. Mara Natha. And uh, really, that's the essence of uh, today's scripture, waiting in anticipation for the Lord. Because uh, Isaiah is saying, in a little while. Now, that's the mystery of our faith, because what happens is, because we're human, we don't see results. We pray, and maybe our prayers go unanswered. Maybe we're carrying heavy crosses, and God doesn't show his face. At least to us, we don't think. But uh, what the scriptures is saying, wait, because every tear will be wiped away. All our crosses will be removed. That uh, good health, and happiness, light, and love will come. Because uh, Christ cannot deceive us, right? He's the source of all truth. He can't lie to us. 
I make all things new, Christ tells us. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will never die. Now, turning to Jesus Christ, the answer to all our troubles, let us humbly approach him with renewed hearts. We pray in a special way for Deborah Marsh, for Deborah Marsh and uh, Olivia and Michael. We pray for Scott and Karen and Rick and the Beebe family, for Natalie Campbell and uh, the Campbell family, all of Natalie's loved ones, for Tricia Schwartz and, and Scott, and uh, we pray for Marion Nichols. We also pray for Ingrid and uh, Richie for Bob and Mark and Steve and Gregory. We pray for Pat Bernatich. Uh, we pray in a special way for all those people we've forgotten to pray for, for Dawn, Donna and John, and for Kevin and Michael. Let's pause now for your intentions for the Vito uh, fam the Zito family. We pause now for your intentions that each one of you holds in the silence of your hearts. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of our Lord Jesus. Amen. We ask all these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ to humble themselves to share in our humanity blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine work of human hands become for us a spiritual drink Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me of all of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, since we have no merits to plead our cause. Come, we pray, to our rescue, 
with the protection of your mercy through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the beautiful Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you our holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so now, with all the angels and archangels, with all the martyrs and the saints, with all the seraphim and cherubim, we sing the song of your glory. Holy, holy, Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, again he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory, of me. The mystery of our faith when we eat this bread. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, in a special way, your faithful servant, William T. Seymour, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant, Lord, that William T. Seymour who was united with your son Jesus in a death like his, that William may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all worry and fear and distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace is my gift to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. to spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Peter, the body of Christ. Doctor, the body of Christ.
Furnished by this food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech, O Lord, that through our partaking in this sacred mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of this earth and hold firm to the things of heaven, the things that last forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless each one of you and all your loved ones, living and deceased, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a wonderful weekend.